Hey guys, this is me, Thriftastic Mom. I'm fixing to start cooking dinner, so I thought I'd go ahead and get some of my stuff prepped up. And I thought I'd let you guys cook with me today and watch me while I cook. I'm actually making cabbage and sausage today. It's one of my husband's favorites. And I got the butterball turkey sausage here I'm going to put in it. And my cabbage and my other ingredients, which is like onion, garlic, and bacon. My husband just said he was on his way, so I got to get this stuff going. Sprayed my pan, put it on medium. I got an onion here that I already had in the refrigerator. So I'm going to cut some of this up and put in it. I just put a little bit to my and my husband's liking. He don't like onion as much as I do. But it does give it some good flavor. And if you didn't want the onions, I guess you could use onion powder. But I always like to put a little bit of onions in mine. I used to just eat my cabbage plain, but I started throwing some stuff in it and it was good. So I don't cut these real big because I don't want to have big chunks of it. Showing you kind of how much I'm putting in. Just a little bit of, little bit of something, something. Just like a little handful. So I'm just chopping me up some bacon here, and then I'll just kind of chop this up small in my pan. I'll show you in a minute kind of what it looks like. I'm only cutting up about five, six strips of bacon. It looks like more because I've cut it in half. But it's about five or six strips. This is what it looks like. Just some onions, bacon cooking up, and I'm going to throw some garlic in it salt and pepper in a few minutes and I won't cook this crispy I'll just cook it till it's almost done and it'll still be soft because we like soft bacon in our cabbage not crispy bacon since he's on his way home I got to try to get as much done as I can on this video I always use a whole head because it cooks down. Go ahead and put some garlic. Salt and pepper to taste. We like a little more garlic. We want to taste the garlic in it. And I always add more salt because with something like cabbage, you have to because it don't have no flavor and the flavor the salt and the salt in the bacon this ain't enough salt for the flavor I wouldn't cut it up too small we like our our leaves a little we like our pieces a little big I love raw cabbage how many of y'all like raw cabbage Leave it in the comments below if you like raw cabbage. Okay. 
I got a mess here, but I got it cut up. Put my bacon and my onion up. Once that bacon and onions get about where I want them, I'm almost done. I'll throw in this cabbage and the meat. I put the meat in first. Go ahead and start chopping this up. I always use my scissors. These are so much handier to use than a knife on something like this. Let me kind of switch y'all up here now. That way you can see what I'm doing. Chopping up my turkey sausage here. And I will use it all because if what we don't eat tonight, I can eat for lunch tomorrow. All I gotta do is cook this a little bit and then it'll be time to throw in my cabin. Put some more pepper. I like to spice up the meat just a little bit. Because turkey sausage tends to not have as much flavor as like the Polska kielbasa and stuff. So I like to kick it up a notch. Just some black pepper. And I just throw my cabbage in on top of all this. So you got a little bit of moisture. That's where all your goodness is anyway in the bottom where you've cooked your bacon and stuff. So you don't want to get rid of that. And I'll start throwing in my cabbage and just kind of breaking it up a little bit. see me taking pieces out it's just pieces that feel like core real hard just break it up you'll have a pan full but it will wilt down that's why I always cook the whole head I don't put any water or anything in it because the steam will take care of that once I put a lid on it. Okay. So what I do is just kind of leave it like that and I'll let this cook down a few minutes and then once it wilts down just a little I'll mix it all together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Start mixing it up. That way, I know the cabbage on the bottom is cooking and wilting down. I'm just going to kind of give it a stir here. That way, all that bacon ain't sitting right on the bottom getting too done. I thought I spilled some, but I guess I didn't. I'm just bringing some of the meat and bacon up to the top. I 
have to be careful because it is full. You spill it everywhere. Now I'm going to put the lid back on it. Just let it cook. Cook on down. Hey guys, this is the final product. I got it all cooked up good. I just stirred it every little bit and waited till my cabbage got nice and cooked down. Did add more pepper and garlic and salt to it to my taste. I can't really I can't really tell you how much I put in it. I just do it to my taste. Everybody's tastes are different. So we're fixing to eat it up. Hopefully it'll be yummy. Please like up the video and share it. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.